I wanted to show you really quickly how to add keywords in a Google Ads campaign, but things have changed since Google updated its user interface and it might be a little bit confusing for some people. So I'm just going to give you a quick overview of how this works. First thing I recommend doing is selecting a campaign. You'll have these like boxes up here at the top. You'll see one says campaign. If you select the campaign that you're interested in adding keywords in, you'll then also need to select the ad group that you want to add the keywords to. So keywords actually are added and live at the ad group level. So we've selected our campaign and ad group here. From there, we can go on the left hand side here and it'll say audiences, keywords, and content. We can open that drop down, then we'll see this search keywords option. Just click that. Now we're going to see a list of keywords that are already in this ad group, which is in a campaign. So to really add the keywords to the campaign, we're going to add it to this ad group. Of course, we could choose a different ad group if we prefer. However, it's pretty straightforward. All we're going to do is click this little blue plus button right here. That's going to open up this option to add in some keywords. One thing that you want to be uh, aware of, though, is that there are different match types for keywords. And so if you just add in a keyword without any indication of uh, the type of keyword match type that you want to use. So if you just type the keyword like this, that's going to be what they call a broad match keyword. You got to be a little bit careful with broad match keywords because the way keywords work in Google Ads is depending on the match type you use, it's going to target not just this keyword, like example keyword, but other things that are closely related, right? So we can actually jump over here to this article that they have showing, like if you use a broad match keyword, low carb diet plan, your ads can actually show up when somebody searches for carb free foods, low carb diet, Mediterranean diet books, which is yeah, it's kind of like very broad. <laughs> How to cut carbs for beginners, carb free meals. It's like almost anything associated with losing weight and dieting and low carb, right? That doesn't give you a whole lot of control over when people see your ads because it's just kind of like hey, anything that's closely related to this term that I put in here, go ahead and show my ads. And as I was showing you, if you just put in the keyword like this, that's going to be broad match targeting. Most people don't realize that. So they just go in here and they start like adding in, you know, different keywords and not realizing that it's going to get them clicks on all sorts of other stuff. But if we look down here, there is also what they call phrase match keywords and phrase match. You'll see how it's in parentheses like this. So if you put the term in parentheses when you're adding the keyword, it's going to narrow down the targeting around that keyword. So like tennis shoes could have your ads. If you're using phrase match of tennis shoes, it can have your ads show up for shoes for tennis, buy tennis shoes on sale, red tennis shoes, comfortable tennis sneakers. But your ads won't show for searches like tennis store or shop for sneakers, right? things that are not quite as closely related. And then the final option is exact match. This is typically what I recommend people use by default, at least initially until you start getting lots of conversion data coming through, which is what they call exact match. And that's where you just put the keyword in brackets. And it's going to be what most people think about when they add keywords into their campaign. So if you add the exact match shoes for men, your ads are only going to show up when people search for like shoes, men, men, shoes, men, shoe, shoes for a man or shoes for men, <laughs> right? But it won't show up if someone's searching like men's tennis shoes or shoes for boys. Those are not very closely related. So just be aware of that. I would recommend putting your keywords in brackets like this. 
at the very least put them in parentheses because these two are going to only allow your ads to show up when somebody searches for something that's very closely related to your actual keyword that you're putting in here. And normally if you're adding a keyword in here, it's because you want your ads to show up when people search for that keyword, right? <laughs> uh, it may give you this warning. You can get a much better, you know, performance from broad match. I think you just have to be a little bit careful with that. Google definitely wants you to use broad match because it's starting to use all sorts of artificial intelligence and everything, but it's pretty advanced. And if you don't really know what you're doing, it can get you into a lot of trouble and waste a lot of your budget. And this is just kind of a slippery slope. Um, and also, you know, when it's broad match like this, they can make more money. I feel like because, uh, you know, you're getting clicks on all sorts of random stuff instead of it being more tightly targeted. You're only getting clicks on things that are very closely related to the keyword that you put in. So there is a bit of an incentive for Google, I, I feel like. I don't know that this is actually the case. I'm just speculating here. But I would assume if it were me that owned Google, I would definitely push people to do broad match if I wanted to make more money for my investors, right? <laughs> theoretically. So... Go ahead and add in the keywords as you want them added in here and then just click save. That's going to add them to your list of keywords down here. And then you can actually switch. So like, let's say you don't want it to be broad match. You didn't even realize there was such a thing as broad match. You can come in here and switch these to phrase or exact match if you prefer. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of how to add keywords in a Google Ads campaign or anything of that nature, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comments section down below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that, you know, this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth. So feel free to reach out. You can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you.